Hello, welcome to Elkidel. We are future engineers come to learn structural design. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you how to design a part foundation for a steel warehouse building. And not only that, by the end of this lesson, you will be able to design perfectly a part foundation using the software Prota Structure Software. And also, in my coming video, I will be performing a design of a full concrete design from start to finish for a building and also for a high story building for a 21 story and also I'll be showing you how to apply wind load and also for any kind of structure. We will also be designing also a steel, uh, a steel structure like a tower and also other kind of concrete elements. So if you have not yet subscribed to my channel Ekidel, I will say you should click on the subscribe button so that you don't miss these coming videos. Okay, so let's begin right now. Okay, so to begin our part foundation design for this steel warehouse building, the first thing we'll do right now is to go to this place and navigate to our plan view. And then we will now go to click on our story 00 because this is the place where we perform our foundation design. So click on this place to make this story active. Now, you now zoom out right now. Once you zoom out right now, the first thing to do right now is to click on one of the columns then right click and click on insert part base. Okay, so right now, once you come to this place right now, the first thing to do right now is to now impute your footing depth. So right now, you just impute your footing depth just now. So in this case, I want to use a footing depth of 400 millimeter, and also I will now go to this place to impute my soil, my allowable soil stretch, which simply means the bearing capacity of the soil which this structure is to be built. So right now, I will just click on this place. For this case, this, the soil bearing capacity for this structure, for this, for this, for the soil we are this building. Where this structure is to be cited is 135 kN per meter square. So I'll just type in the value there. Now, next thing to do right now is to now select your steel, the size of your steel for your foundation. So for this case, I want to use diameter 16 for both x direction and y direction for the part foundation. So right now, the only thing that you set is to set the footing depth and to set the bearing capacity. And then this cover of concrete is always automatic, except you can change it from the settings and impute your own. Then next thing to do again is to select this and select this. Then you will now click on calculate. Now, on this place right now, the first thing to do is to click on square footing. And also, now, looking at this right now, you can see that the size, that, is, that this program, Prota Structure, have already given you the size, which is 1.3 1 by 1.3 meters, or you say 1,300 millimeter by 1,300 millimeter for both length direction and this width, for the length and the width direction for this footing base. Now, the next thing to do right now, the, the main thing to do is to check for this, for the punching check. This punching check, this place must be okay. This place must be okay also for the share failure and also for the share failure on the right direction here must be okay. If there is any failure on this place, what to do is to go and increase the depth of your footing if you have any punching share um, check failure. It's to go and increase the depth of your footing which is here. But now for this now, this is okay. So right now, next thing to do right now, you can choose to increase the size of your footing because for, in my own case, this column here is 600 by 600 millimeter. So I want to increase my size of my of my footing to 1.5 by 1.5 millimeter uh, meters. So I will now check again, everything is okay. And let's also check for this spacing. This spacing here for this reinforcement must be more than 100 millimeter. Else, if it is lower than that, I will say you should just click on this place and also increase your size of the reinforcement. But for this case, 16 and 16 is okay for a spacing of 250 millimeter spacing. So I'll click on what's okay. And then I will now click on what's okay. So you can now see that we have successfully inserted our first um, part, our first part foundation. If you check on our on our 3D view right now, you can see that we have successfully inserted our first part foundation. Now, before we begin, I will say if you have not yet subscribed to my channel Ekidel, I will say you should just click on the subscribe button down below so that you don't miss my coming video on how to design full complete building from start to finish, both for steel structures and for and for concrete structures. Okay, so let's go back to insert other part footing for these ones. So go back right now and click on this place and then click on plan view. Now, we now click again on, let me start from here and then click again right now, click on this right click and then say insert part base. And then since we have already done our first setting, you don't have to do any other setting here again. This now takes these settings as default, except this except this footing is failing. You can now come and um, increase your depth of footing for this particular color. But, but for now, everything here now remains as default, as the same. So now click on this, calculate, and then square it. Now, if you, I want to use a typical footing for, for this um, steel warehouse structure, so I'll just 
we choose a typical footing of 1.5 by 1.5 but the main thing is to check on this place this place punching check must be okay no one here must show failing and also for this for the sharp failure here on the x direction this must be okay this must be okay okay and also on the y direction this must be okay okay and okay and your spacing here must be more than 100 millimeter for the steel spacing for this right now everything is okay on my own side i'll just click on okay and then click on okay now the same thing again i do the same thing for this again right click and insert part base and then click on calculate and then click on square and this is now giving me one six by one six let me try to reduce it if it will allow me to do that okay it's giving me a default a like it is giving me a minimum footing depth for this particular footing as you can see there for us one six by, by by one six but the main thing this must be okay this must be okay and this must be okay so now click on okay and then okay so with this right now i have this footing to be one five by this one one five by one five and also this again one five by one five but this but this one right now but this one is giving me one six by one six i know it is due to the to the load of this place because the load on this edge will be less than the load on this place okay so let's do the same thing for here and by click and then say insert part base then click on calculate and then click and also it's because it's give, also giving me one six by one six because of the load but the main thing this must be okay okay and okay and this place must be more than 100 and click on okay and then okay okay then the same thing again we go again on this place and click right click and then say insert part base and then calculate and then we go again and say square this is giving me one five but this place must be okay okay and okay and the spacing here more than 100 is okay and then okay the same thing goes for here right now i right click and then say insert part base and then calculate and then click square the footing check this check this and check this and check this spacing okay and okay then we go again right now to insert for this right click insert part base and then calculate square it check for everything if it's okay for me it's okay and okay sorry i did cancel so check for this calculate square it check for everything this is okay in my own case and then I go for the same thing. The same thing which I've just explained happen, applies to all that footing that you're going to insert or for path foundation. So, so this is how to design a path foundation perfectly in portal structure. Now, if you want to know how to design full concrete building design from start to finish, we will start our structural framing from right there from either either from our software AutoCAD, then we will not import it right here in portal structure. I will say you should just um, click on the subscribe button and so that you don't miss my coming video because I'll be doing that video in most in, in the in the most future. So okay, right now, click on this right now, I click also on this. And also, I'll also be um, doing a video for a steel building from start to finish also, and also how to extract your steel details from portal structure down to your portal steel program and then down to your AutoCAD and also we will also perform a steel um, a steel building drafting full drafting and I'll also show you how to detail a steel building completely so if you have not yet subscribed my channel I'll say you should do that just now so you don't miss my coming video on how to do all these things okay so we are done with all these ones right now we now do for this right now so click on this right now click on this and then click on this and then this okay this is the uh, one meter by one meter and everything must be okay then okay and then okay do the same thing for this also right click and then insert part base and then click on this click on this and then okay and okay and then do the same thing for here right click insert part base and then calculate square it check for everything check for punching each must be okay check for share everything here must be okay and here okay and the spacing here must be okay now all these things must be okay before you say it's okay you cannot click on okay if you are okay with that now you can see that we have done um, all the path foundation if not check on the 3d view to check what we have done you can see how we have successfully designed for this path foundation so this is how to design a path foundation in portal structure for any kind of concrete building now if you have not still subscribed to my channel ekidel i will say you should click on the subscribe button so you don't miss my coming video and i'll be making a video on how to design a steel water tank here in portal structure from start to finish i'll also design um, a 21 story building also here in portal structure in my coming video so i'll say you should click on the subscribe button if you don't want to miss this video okay so and also if you have any comments you just um, drop the comments down below i will i will reply you your comments very quickly and also i will, I will say you should like this video also share this video okay so we have come for the to the end of our lesson for today so thank you and then watch out for the next